Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are continuing our Alexander Pfister series with Great Western Trail. Yes, this is the oh big release of 2016. Very famous game. Yes. It is published by Egret Spiel and of course designed by Alexander Pfister. Mm -hmm. So we are going to play it today, two player. And Monique is going to do her best <laughs> to try to teach this game, not with every nitty gritty detail yes, because there right. is a little bit going on here. <laughs> yes. So like we mentioned, this game, this game is, might be what put Alexander Fischer on the map. I mean, he's, he had, as you can already see, he's had a, a bunch of releases before this and mm -hmm. they're, they're good, but a lot of people really love this game. This is the one that probably elevated him. Yes, probably. Yes. Uh, so we are going to try to teach it to you and then we're going to play through the entire thing and give you our thoughts at the end. But before we get started, we would like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that, we're going to get started. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are all set up for our two-player game of Great Western Trail. And as you can see, this is the trail, right? Yep. That is taking us all the way up to Kansas City. Uh, we also have a lot of other things going on. We have our own player boards. We have building tiles. We have our deck of of, of cards mm -hmm. that are cows. This is a deck building game, technically. Yeah, technically. And so, in this game, we are ranchers. And we the, the main premise of the game is we are taking our cattle, we're bringing them all the way up to Kansas City, and we're going to try to sell them for as much money as we can. And we're trying to collect points along the way by doing various things. There are doing stuff along the way to Kansas yes. City. Yeah. There are a lot of different ways to do to earn points in this game. And mm -hmm. we're just trying to become the most efficient ranchers, I suppose. Yep. And so this game is played over a several number of rounds. Um, it's not a set number of rounds. There is a timer. A timer. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a timer of sorts that is going to dictate when the game ends. But the basic structure of the game is we're going to be moving up this trail. And right now you can see a few of these neutral buildings on the board, but over the course of the game, there's gonna be more and more of these buildings on the board where our um, meeples are going to be stopping at in order to perform actions. As soon as you get all the way to the top here, this is known as Kansas City, you must stop and sell the cattle that you have in your hand. Yep. Um, each player has a deck of cards and our deck of cards is comprised of a ton of different cows. They're valued at two and one mm -hmm. only. Yep. And the, the twos have uh, three different colors and there are several repeats. We're each going to start the game with a hand of four of these cards that are kept secret from other players. And what happens is when we get to Kansas City, we're going to sell our hand of cow cards, but we're only going to get money for each unique cow. Each unique cow type. Yeah, so if I arrived in Kansas City with a hand of this two Dutch belt with three ones, I'm only going to get $3. Yeah. So Two for this one, one for that one. These two are repeats of this one, so therefore these do not score. Exactly. If I had several twos, then it's only twos of a different color that mm -hmm. would score. So this hand would score me two plus two plus one, five. And this is a repeat of the other Dutch belt, so I don't get any money for that cow. So that is the main premise of what's happening when we get to, to Kansas City. All the buildings that we that we stop at along the way are going to help us acquire more of these cows, help us switch out cards from our hand, um, hire people, and build, build more buildings mm -hmm. onto the board. And so the basic structure of a turn is on your turn, you're going to move your meeple up to a certain number of spaces as dictated by your player board. And I believe this is dependent on uh, player count. Player count yep. So in a two player game, it's up to three spaces. And so spaces are not these, like all the different spaces on the board, they're literal buildings. Mm -hmm. So you can move up to three buildings along the path. Buildings or hazards, which we haven't talked about yet. Yes. Just a heads up. As soon as you get to a fork in the road, and there are several of these, there's a fork right here, there's one here, and there are these tiny arrows that, that show you the direction, the flow of traffic here. You have to abide by those arrows. But as soon as you get to a fork, you get to choose which direction to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, anytime you see any buildings or hazards, and the hazards are these tiny, tiny chits. These are the big squares are buildings, the tiny squares are hazards. And they... Uh, and hazards you can find um, in different areas of the board. Yeah, hazards are literally along the trail. You'll see yes. some other square chits that are not actually on the trail. We'll talk about those later. Yes, there's, yeah, I guess I should say there are buildings, hazards, and teepees, and that's what these are. But uh, anytime you go through a trail that has a hand on any of these tiles, you must pay. Mm -hmm. So if it's a building that belongs to a person, you must pay the person. If it's a hazard or a neutral building that doesn't belong to anybody, you pay the bank. Right. And typically in like a four player game, the amount that you pay depends on what color of the hand. In a two player game, they're all two coins. Yep. So that's the first thing that happens. You move up to 
three spaces. And then, whichever building or hazard you land on, you get to take actions. If it's a one of these gray neutral buildings, then you get to do whatever the actions it says on the tile. Mm -hmm. A majority of them have this like a uh, vertical line in between symbols, and those separate the different types of actions you can take when you land there. You can take all of them in any order. Mm -hmm. You're not required to take all of them, but you can take whichever ones you want, essentially. If there's like a a uh, slightly diagonal horizontalish line that's in like one of the spaces and it's one or the other and the other action. Exactly. So that is how you read these tiles. A lot of these tiles will let you do things like discard a specific cow card from your hand and get that much money, whatever the benefit is. So this building lets you discard the black number two from your hand mm -hmm. To get two coins. And th this is discard, meaning it goes into a discard pile. It's yes. not kicked out of the game. So I should have mentioned that for the cows, it's standard deck building in the sense that you have four cards in your hand. Whenever you discard, you discard into your own discard pile and you always draw from your own draw pile. So you're always curating your own hand of cows. <laughs> yes, and you can, you can always look in your discard just a heads up. Um, but there are also three main actions that, that these neutral buildings are very good for. I just kind of want to briefly go over them. Mm -hmm. The first type of action is hiring these employees. And so we have one of each type. There are three different types of employees in the game. We have one of each type already. And each of these types of employees, they specialize in doing something specific. Yep. So there are cowboys up here who help you acquire more of these cow cards to put into your cow deck. Uh, there are crafters who help you build buildings onto the board. And there are engineers who help you push your locomotive up the locomotive track, which we'll explain later. And so one of these main actions has to do with hiring more of these employees. Mm -hmm. And so as you can see, there, there are going to be employees that are filling up uh, row by row. And in a two-player game, we only fill up the last two columns right, here. Two-player, three-player, four-player. And so the price to hire a specific person is shown on the right-hand side of whatever row they're on. The one rule is you can never hire from the row that this chit is at because this is actually going to dictate the timer of the game. Mm -hmm. Whenever we get to Kansas City, which we'll talk about later, we're going to add more of these employees to this board. And so over the course of the game, this is going to get pushed down further and further. As soon as it gets pushed off the board, that's going to signal pretty much the end of the game. It'll trigger it. Yep. It'll trigger the end of the game. So that is the purpose of that. Whenever you hire employees, they go onto your board. And just so you can kind of read this, there are some of these symbols that are on these spots. Those are immediate effects. Uh, if it's kind of like a you use it or lose it kind of thing. Yeah. You either do it now or you forfeit it. Uh, any employees in the last two columns at the end of the game is going to score you four points per. Yeah, this is one of those games where all the points come to you at the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. There's no score track here, so we'll figure yes, it all out later. Exactly, there's no score track here. And so that is hiring employees. The next type of main action that you'll see us doing is acquiring more of these cow cards and you can do that by going to any space that looks like this that has like a cow picture on it the cow with the bull horns yep mm -hmm. yes and so the, the way that that works is it's all dependent on how many cowboys you have hired mm -hmm. it the cowboys will dictate what type of cards you can get and at what price right. and this is the chart down here um, as you can see, if you have one cowboy, you can get a valued three cow at six bucks. Which would be these two types. Yep. If uh, you have two cowboys, it's only $3. It's a $3 discount. So that's how you read them. And if you, you can do stuff like, if I have two cowboys, then I can do this and this. Mm -hmm. So because you can kind of split up the value up of the cowboys that you have. Uh, with that action, you can also spend one of your cowboys to deal out two more cards to this cow deck over yes. here. Yes, because this cow uh, display mm -hmm. doesn't refill immediately. It'll yeah. only refill if somebody does that action, which Naveen just mentioned, or when that chit crosses any of these yellow arrows, then we'll have kind of like a refill of the cow display. So cows, uh, as you can probably tell, are very good for when you get to Kansas City, because if I purchase my first three card, it'll be the only three card in my deck. So the chances of it being unique right. are quite high when it comes around. Because going back to Kansas City, you want all unique types of cows when you get there. Right. And our deck is only comprised of ones and twos right now. So mm -hmm. anything higher than that is going to be great. Mm -hmm. um, also, the cow cards have point values on them yes. innately. So at the end of the game, they're going to be worth that many points for having them just in your deck. As long as you still possess them. Yep. Yes, as long as you haven't ditched it. The third uh, main action that you can do is you can build buildings onto the board. And so that is why you see a lot of these empty spots because they are for building your own personal buildings. We each have 10 of them. They are double-sided. There's an A side and a B side. Naveen randomized his and I just mirrored them. So yes. we have the exact same size of our buildings showing. And so going to this specific tile here that has like that building symbol, this will allow you to build one of your building tiles in any of the available spaces on the board. And on each tile has at the top left hand corner a certain value. 
And that is the number of craftsmen that you have to have available to build this building. Yep. And then after that, it's going to be $2 per craftsman required. Exactly. So if I were to build this level one building, it would cost me two bucks. I can put it anywhere on the board. And at the end of the game, at the top right hand corner, it'll score me a point. So if you've noticed, some of these buildings also have the hands. Mm -hmm. So if I were to put this building here, anytime Naveen goes this way, he must pay me. He has to, he literally has to pay me two bucks because my building is there. Right. Uh, alternatively, he can choose to go this way because it is a fork, but he'll end up paying more to the bank. So that is kind of how these things go. There are much higher numbered valued buildings. Like this is a sec seven level building. And as you can see, we only have space for six mm -hmm. um, craftsmen. So the way that you build these is you can overbuild on previously built tiles. Of your and own. Then of your own. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can over you cannot overbuild on somebody else's tile. And you only have to pay the difference in the craftsmen. So that is how building builders works. You pay the difference in the craftsman and in the money. Right. So it's $2 per craftsman. So seven minus one, you'd pay six times two, 12. Mm -hmm. But you have to have six craftsmen. Correct. Here. If you're Entourage. overbuilding a seven to one, yes. Yes. And so th actually the last main action now is uh, moving your locomotive. This spot right here, uh, anytime you see the purple symbol, that stands for your engineers. Right. And so this spot specifically says for each engineer you have, you move your, your locomotive one space forward. And so this is, this whole train track is specifically, it's numbered, as you can see, one to 39. If I were to land on this space and I had say three engineers, I would be able to move my locomotive up three spaces. Up to three. Mm -hmm. Up to three, and I, it would stay there. Uh, the other characteristic of this train track is there are these little inlets that kind of go down like it's this. It's a little turnout. Yeah, it's a little turnout that you can dip into. And I believe those are called stations. Mm -hmm. Or maybe these are stations, now I'm not sure. I think you're at stations. And so if you ever go into one of these turnout spaces, you land yourself in a train station mm -hmm. and you can choose to upgrade the train station for points. So they all show a different uh, number amount, yeah. amount, I guess. This is you can spend two bucks to get one point. This is like four bucks to get two points. And so what that allows you to do is we haven't spoken about our player board too much, but uh, all of these discs on your player board are covering up a specific auxiliary action, which we'll talk mm -hmm. about in a second. And in order for you to have access to these things, you must remove these discs from your player board by either delivering to Kansas City and putting them up here, or by going into these stations and, and upgrading and paying to put one of these discs on there. Right. The main rule is that uh, some of these are bordered by black borders and some of them are bordered by white borders you must follow the color of wherever you're placing the disc. So in these stations here, they're all white bordered stations. You can only cover it with the discs from the white bordered spots. But as you go down here, it looks like these are black and, black white. and white. So you can choose any, literally any disc on your board you can put in these spots. And then you would place your disc in that station just like that. In addition, if the chit to the left is still present, you can become the station master by placing one of your previously acquired or previously hired employees from your board into this spot and taking this chit. And so what this chit does is at the very top, it gives you an immediate or permanent bonus. And so in this example, it's a permanent bonus of a certificate, which we'll talk about later. And at the bottom is end game scoring. Mm -hmm. This is three points for every two TPs that you have in your possession. Two TPs of different colors. TPs come in two different flavors. There's uh, green, green and, and blue. blue. Yeah. So that is specifically what this tile does, but each tile does something different. So you just kind of have to see, and only one person can become the station master of each station. Everybody can do the upgrade, only one person can take the chit. All right, and so that is moving your locomotive. I'm just gonna leave this here for the for example of Kansas City when we get there. Mm -hmm. But uh, those are the three main actions that you will find on these neutral buildings. Right. If you land on your own building, then you get to just do what it says. And these are, uh, they're different depending on the side that you use. So we'll just kind of talk thing. about them as we play. But if you land on either a hazard, which are these small um, tiles, or a building that belongs to somebody else, then you can still take an action. You just cannot take the action that it says on the building. Yeah, not the printed action. You must take an auxiliary action. And so on the left-hand side of your player board, these are all the five different types of auxiliary actions you can take on your turn. Um, just briefly, there are things like getting a coin, drawing a card from your deck and discarding one from your hand, paying a coin to move your, your uh, locomotive backwards one space, and gaining a certificate, which we'll talk about. Uh, spending a coin to move your your locomotive one space forward, or my personal favorite <laughs> is moving your your locomotive back one space to ditch a card from your hand out of the game. Out of the game, yeah. So that would be a good way for you to um, call your deck. Anytime you see this 
this symbol here, which is like two circles with a one X, that means you can do one auxiliary action twice, as long as you have them both uncovered. Right. And just briefly, there's also a, an action that allows you to remove hazards from the board. And that is this building. It costs $7 to remove a hazard from anywhere on the board. And the hazards are going to give you points at the end of the game. They're also going to clear some of this space here so that you can pay less when you go through that way. Uh, and they're also used to complete some of the uh, objective cards, which we'll talk about later. Yeah, because the hazards, you have to not only pay a toll or a fee, but they also cost you literal movement points. Yes, it's true. So, so they're a nice way to kind of declutter the board and get you points. Okay, so that is um, that is basically everything you can do in the game in a nutshell. For the most part, yeah. So once you get to Kansas City, Kansas City is very procedural. So it's very easy to kind of understand. There are five steps here and you just go in that order. The first thing that happens is you choose one of these two tiles to place onto the board. You're placing more hazards onto the board. Or TPs. Yep. But you get to decide mm -hmm. what to place. Yeah, or TPs, exactly. Um, then the next spot, you get to decide which of these two to place onto the board. I'm not sure, are they all employees? Uh, the, the level two tiles are all employees and this is kind of a grab bag. Okay. Three, so, that. Mm -hmm. so ones are hazards and TPs, twos are employees and three is a mix. So when you get to here, you choose one of these two employees to add to the lineup here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get over here, same thing, you choose one of the two tiles. And then when you get to step four, that is when you show your hand. So whatever hand that you have in your hand, you're going to get money for them. So this is my previous example. If I had this by the time I get to Kansas City, I get two, four, five coins. And then I can choose to use my certificates. So we were kind of mentioning certificates here and there earlier. Anytime you see this like cube with a green arrow going down, that means you can move this cube downwards to gain a certificate. And this is just like an extra dollar mm -hmm. to add to when you get to Kansas City. So there are two main types of certificates. There's temporary, which are these ones, which get spent when you decide to spend them. And then there are the permanent ones, which are like the ones that you'll find on the Station Master tiles. And if, so if I had this tile, I always have one additional buck whenever I get to Kansas City. Right. So you decide in that moment if you want to use your certificates and then you get that much money from the bank. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, step five, that is when you get to actually place your disc out into one of these cities that I suppose you delivered to, right? Yep. And so the cities are all numbered, like Kansas City is zero, Topeka is one, Wichita is four, et cetera, and so forth. Depending on how much money you acquired when you went to Kansas City, that is how far you can go up in the delivering what city you city. can deliver to exactly yeah. so if i only had five dollars because of my hand then the furthest i can deliver to is wichita i would same thing it's it's a it's a circular spot so i would take one of the discs from my player board if it's white boarded i would take a white bordered disc and place it there so i could do something like this and from now on i can never deliver to wichita ever again right it's only one time per person. So Naveen could deliver there if he wanted to, but exactly. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, some, there are some other benefits that are in these arrows that are not points. So if I delivered to both Albuquerque and Santa Fe, then I get that bonus, which is getting one of these objective cards, which I guess is a good time to talk about them now. Which might as well. Um, because that's pretty much all that happens in Kansas City. And so depending on how far you went, so if I went to Wichita here, uh, you're going to look at how far away the city is from your locomotive. And you have to pay one buck for every one of these, these symbols here that are in between your locomotive and the city. So if my locomotive were right here at the four spot, I wouldn't have to pay anything because mm -hmm. I'm exactly at the city that I'm delivering to, or if I'm past it. But if I'm behind it, I would have to pay one buck for this one toll, toll spot. And you'll always have enough money to do that because you just earn the money from selling the cows. Correct. So before we go into those objective cards, the only city you are allowed to delivered to multiple times is Kansas City in That's itself. True. And over here, so Monique can have a whole stack right here. And what it basically is, is for every um, token you have here at the end of the game, you're gonna lose six points. But the moment you deliver to Kansas City, you gain six bucks. Mm -hmm. So hope that's clear. It's a nice way to earn early money, but yep. it's a penalty. It's, it's a, a penalty pretty at the end. steep penalty. And also it looks like if you deliver to San Francisco, which is something I've never done, <laughs> then you get nine points. Nine points, yeah. Yeah, so that just delivering to that one spot, but it is a value of 18, so. Okay, so objective cards. We all start the game with a secret objective that becomes public once the game starts. Mm -hmm. And it, all it does is it shows you a combination of stuff that, that you need to acquire in order to score the points that are listed at the bottom. So this example, it wants me to have one of my own personal buildings, a blue TP, and two hazards of any type. 
And if I can do that by the end of the game, I'm going to score five points. All of the things showing must be unique to this card. So if I have another card that requires hazards, say if I have these two, then I must have four hazards mm -hmm. in order to meet both cards. The second that you acquire one of these cards, it goes into your discard pile. It's going to get shuffled into your deck, just like the cows. If you ever pull it into your hand, it, you know, obviously it's going to clog up your hand. You can choose to play it in front of you. Uh, if you do choose to do that, then you get whatever the benefit is at the very top left-hand corner of the card immediately. Mm -hmm. But because you chose to play it in-game, at the end of the game, if you do not meet the requirement of the card, then you get minus points. And the minus points are shown at the bottom right-hand corner. If you leave it in your deck, uh, you can still score the card at the end, end of the game, but it, there's no risk. You there's don't no, get those minus yeah, points. No penalty, yeah. Yeah. But it would clog up your hand. True. Yep. So that is how those objective cards work. And I believe the starting objectives, none of them have penalties. No, so there's four starting right. objectives. We got two of them each, or two randomly, mm -hmm. no penalties on them. And since we're on the topic of TPs, that was kind of like the one thing that we didn't really discuss. There are these, these spots here for uh, TP tiles, and they, they're supposed to resemble trading with the natives. Mm -hmm. Like we're over there and we're selling goods, we're exchanging goods. Along the way. Yeah. Along the way. If you need one of these for like the public objective cards, you can go to these spots that allow you to take a TP tile from the board. Mm -hmm. And uh, depending on where the tile is, you either have to pay coins to do so, or you, you, you get money for yeah. doing so. So think of all these ones as negatives as unfavorable trades, and think of all these ones with positives as favorable trades in your, in your favor. In your favor. <laughs> and just as an FYI, you do have the opportunity to acquire more movement points. If I were to remove these two discs, I could, my, my meeple can go as far as up to five spaces. Mm -hmm per action and I can also remove these to have more cards in my hand. Yep. So uh, we have a starting hand of, of four, cards. four cards, that is our maximum hand size and um, these allow you to increase that hand size. At the end of your turn, you always draw up to whatever that hand size is. Yes. So if you end up discarding cards because of these different buildings, then you, you draw up at the end of your turn. Yep. And that is pretty much the end of the game. That the game true. ends once, like we were mentioning, once this token get, uh, gets ditched off the board, Whoever triggered that game end, that'll be the end of the game for them. Yeah. And everybody else gets one more turn. Exactly. So if I'm the one that triggered this, this has a two shield on it. I would get two points. That would be the end of my game. Monique would get one more turn. Exactly. And so at the end of the game, you're going to get points for money in hand. So it's every five coins is one point. Not so the best exchange. Yeah. Pretty terrible exchange, You want to use your money. You get points for the buildings that you've built, the victory points that you get for, for going to these areas. Mm -hmm. For sandwiching in those points. For those cities. All of the victory points that you get for um, upgrading these stations, mm -hmm. because you actually get uh, more and more victory points as you go further down the station track. All the points from the hazards that you've acquired, the cow cards in your deck, your objectives that you've acquired, the station master tokens, if you have any of those, all the end game scoring, four victory points each for employees in your right hand columns, three victory points if you've managed to clear this spot, which is the second um, movement space, and whoever has this token gets the two victory points. Whoever has the most points then wins. So as you can see, there are a lot of different places where you can get points. It's just a matter of how well you can kind of configure your strategy. So that is the game in a nutshell. We are going to clean up and then we're going to get started with our playthrough. Sure. Yep. Okay, so we are all set up. We're ready to play. Uh, first thing we're going to do is reveal our public objectives and then we'll figure out who goes first. All right. All right, so mine is this one. Do you want to talk about So yours about? is, what is it, two buildings and a hazard? two buildings and a hazard cleared off. So I'll just keep mine right over here. Mine is a blue TP and two hazards for three points. So I will put mine up here as well. Uh, we need to see who goes first. Ready? It's me. So Monique goes first. So she gets six bucks. I get seven bucks for going second. Yikes. I'll take a dollar extra. So here's your seven. Thank you. And here is my six. Um, we must also warn you that... There are a lot of people who really love this game and are really good at it. <laughs> we are not good at this game at all. I, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just not clicking for me. So I'm going to try my best to play strategically, but feel free to let me know what my, <laughs> what my, my pitfalls were. We'll or our, I guess. I can't lose. Two bad them. people are playing this game right now. So <laughs> one of us will win. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> And also for anybody who's like really, really invested in this game and you want to know what building tiles we're using, I'm just going to read them out really, really quickly. Okay. So we're using 1A, 2B, 3A, 4B, 5A, 6B, 7A, 8B, 9A, and 10A. Yes. I can almost guarantee you that 
very few of these buildings are going to get built. So <laughs> yeah, just take know. that with a grain of salt. Right. All right. And so starting with me, we're going to get started. Uh, to start the game, you can place your meeple on any of the neutral buildings. Uh, and so you don't actually move then. You would just place it and take that exact action right away. Gotcha. So let's go with... Oh, I have to draw my starting hand. Yes, that, that would make sense. <laughs> that would lead you some way. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> No good, huh? No. Okay, I'm gonna start by going to this building right here. Okay. So this building allows me to discard a white two, which is Mr. Guernsey or Miss Guernsey, Guernsey right here. And I can take two coins for doing so. So okay. I discarded Guernsey out of my hand. Will you be employing anybody? I'm taking two coins. And then now I can hire one or two of these employees. The first one is- um, The base cost. The base cost. And the second one is $2 more. So I'm gonna hire one employee. I'm gonna hire an engineer. For six. Wow, all your money, huh? No, I just earned two more from Guernsey. <laughs> Fine. So then I'm going to take the engineer and place the... Oh, that's right. I'm going to place the engineer in this first uh, spot right here, which gives me an immediate benefit of discarding a one from my hand, mm -hmm. which will allow me to move my cube down to take a temporary certificate. Yes. So that's that. And now that's it. That's all I can do on that tile. So I'm going to draw up to my maximum hand size of four. And that is the end of my turn. Turns are very quick. That was pretty good. So now it's on to you, Naveen. Where are you going to start your Great Western Trail journey? Okay, I'm going to start right over here. So we're going to start in the spot. So I'm going to ditch a Dutch belt. Okay. Which is a green for two bucks, please. Yep. And then are you going to build a building? I am going to build a building. So I am going to build... I'll be kind. I'm not going to build the one with a hand on it, okay? I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to build this one right here, which is 3A. And what this one says is you can discard two of the same type of cards for three bucks, and you can then move your, your cowboy meeple to the next building over and then take an action there. Cool. Okay. So, so I will do that. Where are you going to build it? It, it costs, it requires one cowboy, which, which I have. you have. Uh, not Craftsman, cowboy, Craftsman. Sorry. Yeah. Which you have, and so it's only going to cost you two coins. Two coins, which are the two I just earned. So it goes Where back. are you going to place it? Uh, you know, I'm going to place it, I think I'll place it right over here. Okay. I think I'll place it here. <laughs> okay. This is a good spot. Also, also good. Yes. Done? That's me. Draw up to your hand size. Uh, yes, I'll just draw one card. And then now I get to move, and I can move up to three spaces, and oh... Is it time to buy? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to this spot right here. And so this lets me discard two of the same uh, col color card, mm -hmm. I guess, and in exchange for four coins. So I'm going to discard my two twos for four coins. Okay. And that's it. I'm not going to... The second thing that allows me to do is allow me to take off a hazard for seven bucks, but I don't even have seven bucks. Yeah, so that makes sense. That's my turn. I draw up... Quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, you say... Did you make a mistake? I don't know if that was that great. <laughs> okay, so I have two options here with this fork in the road. I can go this way, but that's going to cost me because of hazard. So I'm going to go up this road. I'm going to go one, two to my own building. And what this building allows me to do is on the left-hand side, it's discard two like-type cows for three bucks, which I'll go ahead and do. So these two are going to go out. Nice, nice. And I have three dollars, please. Oh, yes. And then I get to move my cowboy or my meeple one spot Next. And so now that's going to allow me to then discard this Black Angus for two bucks. Oh my gosh, Naveen. What and are you doing? And then this symbol here allows me to now purchase a cow. So I only have one cowboy uh, in my employment, so I can spend six bucks for a three for a three level cow or 12 bucks for a four. Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my gosh, you have 12 bucks? How do you have all that money? I don't know. One, two, three. So How much money do five, I have here? Five. Six <laughs> this is actually a good option here. Five, nice. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm going to be frugal here. I'm just going to buy for six bucks with my one cowboy the level three cow, so. which will be worth three points at the end of the game. This goes into my What's discard What's the name pile. of the... Uh, this is a... a -ish? Oh, why'd you ask me? Ayrshire? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Ayrshire. Sorry. If you know, if you know what You're it like, sounds Oh my gosh. Apologize. <laughs> okay, so this does not refill here. And now I'm going to draw up my hand size. That's oh, me. Oh gosh. Well, I'm going to go here. Sure. I'm going up this track and I'm going to take this. This is a one certificate. It allows me to go move my cube down one or take an objective, which I am not ready to do. 
And then for every engineer that I have hired, I can move my locomotive up a space. So I have two mm. engineers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this uh, locomotive up two spaces, which is nice because in this game, if say Naveen were at one and I were at two and he needed to move forward one space, he would hop over my locomotive because we don't share spots. Yes. But because I'm two spaces forward, there's gonna be no hopping uh, right now. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today. So that's that. <laughs> Back to me, huh? Back to you. Yeah, turns are quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do on my turn is I'm gonna go one, two, and we're gonna share ah. this building here. So we're allowed to do this in this game. And I will gain a certificate on the left-hand side. And then because I have one engineer in my employment, I will move one space over. That's my turn. All right. Uh, I am going to, you know, I told myself I wouldn't stop at every building, but it sounds like I'm doing that. I'm going to stop mm -hmm. here because I need to flush out at least one of these cards in order to get a little bit more money over there. So I'm going to first do this action, which allows me to move my locomotive again per engineer that I have. Yep. So I'm moving up to four now. Nice. And then now I get to take this action, which allows me to do the double auxiliary action, but I don't have any spot. I don't have a row. That's you can completely, only do it once. They can only do it once. So I'm going to take this action, which allows me to draw a card from my deck and then discard. Wow. No good. What is this luck? Uh, you wouldn't believe it. <sighs> that oh. was not <laughs> So you must already cool. have. So she discarded a black cow. That means she probably has I did. another black cow. I might have more than that. <sighs> you might have more than that, huh? Okay, so, oh, really? <laughs> that was total okay, waste. Okay, so you're done? I'm done. So I'm going to move into the same spot that you are. I will do the exact same thing, but only move up one because I only have one engineer. And same thing. I'm going to draw a card and hope for the best. I got the worst. Was it, so, I was going to say, was it the best? No, it wasn't the best. So then I discard one card out. There well, we go. Well, at least it happened to us both. It did. All right. And now is the moment that I've been waiting for. Really? I'm going to Kansas City. Okay. So I made it to Kansas City. First things first, I get to choose to put out a blue teepee or, or a water hazard. Yes. And so there are a lot of water hazards here already. I think I'm going to go with a blue teepee. Yep. And your uh, private object or public objective needs a blue teepee so that's right make them so cheap. make it a little bit cheaper okay so then, then now we're here i choose to put out a craftsman or a cowboy mm -hmm. let's put and out this will be the person that is for hire because when you place it out we'll explain it go ahead let's put out a cowboy cowboy so then this is going to go down and now this place is going to be this this person is going to be immediately for hire and then for the next spot let's put out let's do another cowboy okay cowboy that person's going to go right there they come in. And now I must reveal my terrible hand because I What'd you have sell? two black oh. Anguses. That's why I discarded a third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you believe I do my third one? So that's, and I have two jerseys. So, three, so three bucks. for a grand total of $3. Will um, you be spending your certificates? Or are you just going to deliver to Kansas City? I mean, if I deliver to Kansas City, I'm going to have all this money. But it's going to be minus negative. six points. People swear by this. This might be the time. This might be the time. I'm going to go to Kansas City. You're going to Kansas Let's City. Let's see what happens. So oh first of all, I get my three bucks. <laughs> yes. Get your three dollars. Um, I actually get three dollars. Plus six. Yes. Plus six. And I don't right. have to pay any fees because it's There's Kansas no City. Yeah. So I, I'm going to take nine bucks here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bucks total. Lots and now points. I get to put a disc out on Kansas City that's going to be a reminder that I have to lose six points at the end of the game, mm -hmm. but it's also going to serve as an opening and then locking for one of these things. It has to be a white disc. It must be a white disc, yep. So I'm gonna unlock this one. Mm. This is gonna allow me to move my locomotive back a space and uh, call a card or remove a Get card, a card from out of my, your hand, yep. From my, uh, my deck. And I believe that's, that's, that's it. That's it, so, so now we refill. We refill, I go back to the start of the trail and now I draw up to four cards here. One, two, three, four. I don't reshuffle my deck Ooh. until I run out of cards in my draw deck. Lots a lots of craftsmen have just oh, come out. I should have shuffled these better. It's <laughs> not good. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the exact same procedure and protocol that Monique just did. So we're gonna go right over here. All right, what are you gonna put out? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put out. Uh, let's put out a. Let's put out a green TV. Let's be nice. Okay. Okay. Be uh, nice. No matter what, I have to put out one of these guys. So we're moving along here. Yeah. We're moving along. Uh, now I think I'm gonna put out this engineer. Let's go ahead and put that person there. That's one, two, and three. I'm gonna go ahead and sell. So unfortunately, when I did that switch out, I redrew Jersey again, so oh, I have okay. two, four, five. That's great. Do you have any certificates? I do have a certificate. Will so you be spending I, it? 
So if I deliver here, then that means I have to just pay one, two, three bucks to deliver here. Oof, I don't like that. Yeah, okay, I, I will, I'll take five bucks and I will not spend the certificate. Okay. okay. Five bucks. Five bucks. Where are you delivering to? I'm going to go ahead and deliver to Wichita over here, which is going to cost me a buck. So let me put this one out here. And then now I have to pay one buck because there's this little red X from where my Your locomotive. locomotive is in there. Okay, here's a dollar. Great. There we go. All right. And then uh, right, send so your person. That. We're back. Let's refill. And refill, yeah. And it is now your turn. Now my turn. All right. So now I can, I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to go one, two. Really? And so here is where I can build a building. But first I will discard a two, my green Dutch belt, in order to take two coins. Okay. Which is what's showing money there. Money bags. Yeah. I'm like so paranoid of not having money for some reason. And then I can build a building. So the only buildings that are available to me are these three, because these are all the level one Mm -hmm. buildings so this is if i build this in a forest area then anytime i land on it it'll get me two bucks for each building that's in a forested area and it has the hand sign so Naveen would have to pay me if i build this one then i can discard a level one value mm -hmm. to move my train forward yeah. one that's kind of nice it's nice yeah especially and, because you have this one that moves you back yeah yeah i was looking at that one that is not bad do i want you to keep paying me money though that is the question you know i was merciful when i built my building yeah, that doesn't really mean much <laughs> these days. I was merciful. I'm going to do this one. Rude. I'm going to be not merciful. <laughs> I'm building this building. It costs me two bucks uh, because of one craftsman, which I have. And I'm going to place it right there. Okay. So I must pay two bucks. And now anytime Naveen decides to go up this path instead of up the hazardous way, then he must pay me two coins. And that is the end of my turn. Pretty so rude. I will draw my last card. Okay. And of course, that's what that is. So now it's your turn. I should also mention that uh, for some of these spots where you can build a building, there are these like extra, I think these are called risk risk actions or something. And basically if I were to build my personal building there and I land on my own personal building, I can, in addition, take whatever that action right. says right there. If Naveen landed on my building, he couldn't take that. That's only for the person who built yeah. their building. And there. you'll notice they're all at the terminal end of all these long hazardous roads here. Mm -hmm. So that you'll see them there and there and also right here. It's like a perk for going up the, the dangerous way. Yeah, because, living... because these hazards can come out here and, and kind of cause issues. Mm -hmm. It's for living life on the wild side. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the slow and steady road. We're just going to stop right over here. I'm going to, so there's a, there's an and or, or I'm sorry, there's a slash here. So I'm going to take this bottom one, which is pay two coins to move my locomotive. So let's go ahead and do up that. Up twice. Up twice. So I'm going to go three, jump over you four to this five, because I don't like paying those red X fees. You don't want to go inside the you know, station? I could, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Now that I, that's settled. I do want to, but I, I don't have anybody to, to place there. So I'd prefer. Okay. You know. I'd like to just keep moving. Okay, and then the second one here is take a double auxiliary action. So I did unlock one of those. So I think I will. So I'm gonna take this action here. I'm gonna draw up. And then now because I have a discard pile, hopefully that blue card that I purchased will show its face <laughs> at some point. Here, tell it's me when to stop. You cute, tell me when to stop. Cute cowie face. Oh, stop. Oops. Me? Yes, or okay, this? Stop. Stop. There you go, okay. <laughs> one more. All right, perfect. And now I must discard two cards. So mm -hmm. I will discard... You can draw first and then discard. We played that wrong a lot. I'll discard these two. These two are going to go into my discard pile. Okay. Jersey and Guernsey. Okay, that is my turn. You have a hand of four? I have a hand of four. All right. That's why I discarded these two. I'm going up this way because I don't have to pay my own hand. So I'm going to go one, two. I don't have a white two card to discard, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I do want to hire... How much money do I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bucks. It's a lot of bucks. Fifteen bucks. I can hire two people. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to hire first. I'm gonna hire the an, an engineer. So that's gonna be six dollars. Five, six, and I'm gonna place the engineer here, which the immediate benefit lets me discard a one to gain two coins. So that's going to kind of offset um, not having a two to mm -hmm. discard there. <laughs> I have all ones here. And then I'm, for my second uh, employee, I'm going to hire a cowboy, this person, for uh, $8 because it's an additional two bucks for your second employee uh, hired in the same Lots of people. action. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I didn't calculate that two bucks there. So now I have $3 left. And now I'm going to draw up to end my turn. Now it's back to you. Well, I don't like that one bit. Um, all right, I'm gonna go the slow and steady road once again. I'm gonna land myself over here. I'm gonna get rid of a Dutch bell for two bucks. Please. Okay. But I'm gonna also build a building. So let's go ahead and figure out. So I only have one craftsman. So I think I'm gonna build this revenge craftsman I, I building. I knew it. I was like, and is he And this looks like a spot that everybody is gonna wanna go to at some point. So I will put it there ah. and be rude. <laughs> okay, so that is my two bucks. Back to you. Retaliation tactics. Yes. And I get to draw I like it. All right, so now that it's back to me, I'm going to go, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go one, two. Okay. And I'm going to discard my black egg. You still have those? What? You still have those? No, no, I, I, <laughs> I know, reset I my deck. I'm oh, okay. Joking. I'm discarding my black egg to take two bucks. Okay. And then I'm going to now purchase a cow. This... So I have two cowboys and having two cowboys allows me to purchase one Three for three bucks. I only have five dollars, so I think that's what I'm going to be yeah, doing. Yeah, sounds about right. I can choose between the blue Ayrshire or this <laughs> yellow Holstein. I'm going to take the blue Ayrshire just it's in case. It's worth two more points. Yeah, it's worth more points. And so that costs me three bucks. One, two, three. And this is going to go into my discard. Not to be used right away. Not too shabby. And now I'm going to draw up, and I end my turn. Solid. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I have. Unfortunately, this fee here is going to be a problem. So I'm going to go one, two, three, stopping here. And I'm going to go ahead and pay Monique her two bucks. Thank you. You're going to get it back. I'll get it back. Very That's why shortly. I put it right over there. So, but I want the money now. So uh, I could, I can discard two like type cards for three bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and omit that. Oh, okay. But I'm going to use the second action here, which is to push me forward. So it basically gives me an extra push point. And then now I'm going to discard a Black Angus for two bucks. Can I have two bucks, please? Um, yes. And then now I get to buy myself a cow. So I can buy this cow right here for six dollars, which is exactly what I want to do. So there you go. That's six. This Holstein now comes into my deck. So it's so. one point, but it is a different colored it's three. A different color three. So. For Naveen. And now we don't have any threes out, so but that's no terrible. Threes. Yep. And I get to draw. It's not good. Back to me? Yep. All right, I'm going to go one, two, so I have to pay Naveen, yes. three. So here's your $2 back. I'll take it. Uh, and so this spot will allow me to get a certificate or an objective. Let's get a certificate. And now I can move my locomotive up three spots because I have three engineers. So nice. we're going to hop over Naveen. So one, two, and I want to go in here, three. I'm going to pay two bucks to upgrade uh, that station. That station. Yeah. Oh. It's a white one. This would be cool, just in time. Okay, I'm gonna take this disc off, which will allow me to call more cards from my hand, and I'm gonna place it here. Cost two bucks. So I, yeah, I paid my last two bucks to do so. And then now I can choose to upgrade that, or to claim the Station Master by putting one of my employees there. So I guess I will. Bye bye, Cowboy, huh? Yeah, so Cowboy's gonna go there. I get to take this chit. At, so it's gonna be a permanent certificate. And at the end of the game, I get three points for every two hazards in my possession. So I got to start working on that. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's it. Okay. So back to you. Very good. So I'm going to bypass this one. I'm going to go one, bypass my own building two, and then end up right where you are. All right. I'll take a certificate. And then I'm going to move one space on my locomotive because my engineer is only one. All right. So I'm going to go over here. Push my locomotive three more spaces forward. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to do the double auxiliary. Now that I've finally unlocked a double auxiliary row, I'm going to do so. So this allows me to move my locomotive uh, back one space and ditch out of my hand completely forever a card. So I'm going to go back two spaces because it's a double auxiliary and I can ditch two cards from my hand out of the game. So I'm getting rid of my jersey, one of them, okay. and a Dutch belt. One Dutch belt. So that's that. And now I draw up. Hopefully I draw something good. Okay. Was it good? It was good. It was good? Okay. <laughs> I'm excited about it.
Ah, la, la, la. Okay, I'm actually gonna bypass this. I, I don't like being behind you where you get the options uh, throughout the rest of the board. So I'm gonna go one, two. We're gonna go straight to Kansas City here. Okay, so I'm gonna put out, uh, let's be merciful to both of us. I'll put out a TP <laughs> okay. here. I'm gonna go ahead and put out a cowboy over here. Okay. And then I will put out a craftsman. A craftsman, oh, interesting. Yes. Okay, so that's one, two, three. And now we're gonna sell, and we have a very unique hand here. Wow! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lucky. And I will pay one certificate to make it a 10. Okay. So I get 10 bucks. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. There you go. And so these all go bye bye into here. You're gonna make money in this game. And so I'm gonna put out, I'm gonna put out Albuquerque's a 10. I'm gonna take this one right here, which is gonna add to my hand. So Ooh. I'm gonna take this one. It's gonna cost me five bucks to do this. Yeah, because it is a black bordered space, yeah. he can literally put any disc. It's gonna go there. And now I have to pay, unfortunately I have to pay fees. So I think I have to pay two dollars, $2, one, two. Yeah. So he removed the disc that allows him to increase his yeah. um, hand size. Now, so now it's I, five. I can drop to five now. Yeah. That's great. Yep. And uh, that's it. So as of right now, just for a status count, I okay. have two buildings out. So all I need is one hazard to be cleared or mm -hmm. yeah, one hazard to be cleared. And then I can, I can do that. Okay. Uh, then I come back to starting point. And then refill those tiles. And we refill those tiles. Yes. Because it is my turn. You're doing the same thing. To go to Kansas City. Oh, and it looks like I don't have a choice here. Uh, no. So. We well, could put the two out or the three out, three valued. What I'll do is I'll put out the Two valued uh, yeah, for yeah. no real reason. No true reason, okay. No true reason. And then I'm going to put out no choice here. So it's going to be a craftsman. We're moving along. We're Oh my gosh, are we halfway through the game? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Something like that. This part really stresses me out, yeah. <laughs> seeing that, that timer go. And who's going to be the expensive future $9 employee? Probably a cowboy. Cowboy, okay. We'll do the cowboy. And then I am going to reveal my hand. And it was not as good as yours, but it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, seven, plus my permanent certificate. So that's eight dollars. Let's see, do I want to go to Albuquerque also? I can spend two of my certificates so I can increase my hand size. You could. Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna spend two certificates. So that's gonna be a total of ten. So you're gonna join me. And yeah, and so I'm going to place the exact same <laughs> disc. So collect your money in Albuquerque. Because you're gonna need uh, the money to here's my ten bucks yes. from the sale. And then now I choose my city. I'm choosing Albuquerque because it's a value of 10. I'm placing this disc here and it's going to cost me uh, $5 for the disc and $1 for that the fee. fee. So it's $6 total. So I get $4 back, three, four. Mm -hmm. And then I make my way back to the beginning. And now I have a hand size of five as well. So these get discarded. I drop to five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Solid. Interesting. Gosh, these need to improve. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this teepee right here. Instead of moving the train forward two spaces for two bucks, I'm gonna clear out this teepee, take it into my possession and I'm gonna gain a dollar for that because it was under this one right here. Mm -hmm. so can I have a dollar please? And then you can do a double auxiliary. I will do a double auxiliary. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do this one where I draw two. Okay. And discard down. So I'm going to then discard these two jerseys out. So now I have five cards that I am fairly happy with. Okay, let's go. Done? Yep, that's it. I'm going to go here as well. And uh, do I want to take a TP off the board? Or do I want to spend two bucks to move my train forward? I'm gonna forgo the first action and I'm just gonna do the, the double auxiliary. So it's gonna let me go back two spots. Okay. And I'm going to discard a, a jersey and a Guernsey out of my hand. Gone. Gone. Forever. Out of the game. Ever. Out of the game. See ya. So then I draw up and that's me. Done? Yep. So I only have three movement points, so I'm gonna go one. I'll one. It's gonna go one, two, three. And I unfortunately have to pay a toll to Monique. Here's your two oh, thank bucks. You. Uh, I will get discard a Guernsey to gain that two bucks back from the bank, though. Okay. And then now I have eight dollars to spend on hiring somebody. So uh, I think I'm gonna want. You know what? I'm gonna take this cowboy for five bucks. Okay. I'll put that there. 
there's five. Thank you. Uh, I don't have the ability to pay or hire for another person, so that's that right there. And now that is the end of my turn, so I will draw up. You draw up? I draw up to five, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have six dollars. All right, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Yeah, I figured. Okay, figured. I um, I guess I might as well discard my dirt, my Guernsey, to take two bucks. Aha! You did have a Guernsey. I did have a Guernsey, and then I'm going to hire, just like Naveen said. Uh, do I want to hire? Oh, I could hire another engineer. And you'd lose out on the benefit if you hired the engineer. That, that, yeah, that's what I was trying to calculate. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. But, oh well, let's hire an engineer. Okay. So I'm going to hire the engineer for five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And it goes, this person goes here. And this benefit allows me to hire a second person at a discount of $2. But I don't have enough money for that. So that was unfortunate. Yep. So then I get to draw up a fifth card. Your turn. Solid. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm gonna move, we're gonna go just one spot right there. Oh, okay. Technically one, two, three, if you wanna call it that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna discard two like type cards. I'm gonna discard two jerseys for four bucks. Okay, you have a one? Uh, I do, yeah. Perfect. And then I have the option of spending these seven coins to remove a hazard, which I technically need for my game, but I think I will, I will not do that no? right now, yeah. Yeah, I unfortunately won't do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw up to my five. All right. Okay. So then I am going to do the same. I'm going to go straight here. And I'm going to discard the two jerseys same, yep. from my hand for four bucks. Uh, let's just take a five. And then I am actually going to discard, a hazard. discard seven. I'm going to pay seven bucks to get a hazard off the board because I need two hazards. And I'm not working on this objective right now. Mm -hmm. So here's my seven dollars. And of course, I'm going to remove this hazard. Yeah, that makes sense. It's worth the most number of points and it's one less hazard for this way. So it doesn't give me incentive to go into Vian's way anymore. So I'm going to so place true. I'm going to place this right there so I know that it's there. All right. And then I'm going to draw up two cards. Very nice. Okay, back to you. Okay, so it's my turn. I have three movement points. We're going to go... I'm not going to go this hazard out. We're going to go one, <laughs> two. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm looking at those... I'm thinking about, do I want an objective? Or, I'm sorry, a certificate? Or do I want to gain an objective there? Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to take a certificate. You're taking a certificate? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go certificate. Okay. So, I'll do that. All right. And then I'm going to move my train my locomotive just one spot only still but i do get to leapfrog you which is kind of nice it is nice I'll go there that's nice for you as well all right that's my turn uh, okay so i'm going to go this way doesn't matter i don't have any money if you don't have any money you don't have to pay anything yeah, it's pretty nice so it's nice <laughs> so i'm going to take a certificate and then i'm going to move my see you later locomotive up four spots so we're going to hop over here one two three for. Just see We're it. just jetting forward Man. because I don't have any money, so there's no point in me you stopping. Bam! Those engineers. In any, yes. You know, I don't really have a plan. I just uh, all good. I knew was let's get a bunch of engineers and then obviously don't do anything with them. So yeah. well, you're moving along. So back to you. Back to me, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'll just move one spot right over here. Okay. Uh, again, I'm gonna move my locomotive slowly up the mountain, and then I'm gonna take a double action. So I'm gonna draw two. Okay. Because I'm doing this one. One, two, really? <laughs> okay, so now I have to discard these two. So I'm going to discard a Dutch belt and a jersey to go right there. And that is my turn. So I have five cards. Okay, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do something that might be kind of silly. But first I'm going to move my... Yeah, I'm going to move my locomotive up four spaces. So it's going to go one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do the double auxiliary action of going back two spaces. Okay, and discarding and two cards out. Ditching two cards out, yeah. This might be ridiculous, but I'm doing two twos. Really? I am. I've ditched a lot of good cards you here. You are curating something. Yep, and I, now I draw up my hand, and that's, that's it. it. Okay, so my only option is to go to Kansas City, so we're going to go here, and I'm going to put out a water hazard. Let's do it. I'll just make it. Very hazardous going in the water. <laughs> uh, no matter what, we're going to put out a craftsman, very expensive craftsman at nine bucks. And then an engineer is coming in here. So that's one, two, three, four. We're going to sell. We have a very nice looking 
selection. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice. So uh, I'm not going to spend any of these certificates because I'd like to bracket at El Paso to get the six points at the end of the game. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to go. So I'm going to sell these all for twelve. Can I have twelve, please? Yeah. 10, 11, 12. That is a good, that was a good deal. chunk of change right, good there. Deal right there. So that's 12. Um, and then, because I'm going to sell it to El Paso, that is a potential black disc that can come off. So I kind of like what Monique's doing with the whole curating here, but I could do this one here. Yep. I could do this one for have a hand of six. You could have a hand of six. That is true. So I'm going to do that. So I will put that out that's there. Nice. So now I've bracketed this at the end of the game, I'll get six points. Uh, that's gonna cost me though $5 to do so. So there's that. Okay. And then I have to pay my fees, which are unfortunately one, two, three bucks. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was expensive. I need some engineering. Okay. Okay, that's me. So I mean, yeah. then that goes here. Move on back. Okay, back. Uh, and then we'll put out some new tiles. For me, because I'm following your trail <laughs> here. Yes. So I'm that's going up there. The Great Western Trail, some would say. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm going to mm -hmm. put out a blue TP. I didn't have a choice there. And That's then good for you. moving forward, I'm going to, whew, do we put out a, you know, we're full, full of craftsmen. So we're going to put out a cowboy. Let's put out a, let's put out an engineer Okay. for three. So once you're done with that, we did cross this line here. So do you, would you like to draw back up to seven because we've crossed this little yellow Oh counts. yeah, yeah. That's what that was supposed to happen. Oh, that was supposed to happen when you. I believe when so. Yeah. So okay. Here's so let's do that first. One. And so what Ravid is referring to, there's this yellow arrow right here. Once this token crosses it, you're supposed to uh, refill the display. So we have, so up we to have seven. more selection. One, two, of three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. There we go. Um, Solid. And then now I continue. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reveal my hand, and I have three. So everything is unique. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have a permanent certificate, so that's eleven. And I'm going to spend a, a temporary certificate to make it twelve, because I too would like to go to El Paso. So ten, really? eleven, twelve. Okay. And and then spending five. So together. I'm choosing the city of El Paso to deliver to, and I'm going to open up my movement. Movement. Yeah, so not bad. ooh, or do I want more cards? In my hand? <laughs> yeah, that's the that yeah. is the question. That is the time to ask that question. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with movement. Okay. And it's nice because it gives me three bucks. So instead of paying, I'm getting more money. So I don't have to pay any fees because my locomotive is all the way up there. But I do get three bucks for unlocking that oh, spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's and actually not now bad. I'm ready to take on the world because I have some Faster. money. Faster, you're a jet setter. Okay. I'm a jet setter. And then these cards go get discarded, which Ooh, is fortunate. Like that was that a nice hand. Answered. One, two. Let me shuffle these up. All right. All right, back to you. Back to me, huh? We are in the last half of the game for sure. I feel like I haven't done anything. This is yeah. bad. This is bad. You know, I'm I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be boring. I'm just gonna go here. I'd really like to move my train. Okay. So it's gonna cost two me coins. two. Yeah, two coins. So uh, here. Okay. Take three back. Yep. Yeah. And you go ahead and, and move I your get, train. Uh, yes. So I get to move up twice. So I'll go one, two. I'm just gonna skip over this. There you go. I know I probably should be upgrading, but I don't have that many people to employ, so... Are you going to do the double? Uh, yeah, well, I'm definitely going to do something. It's just... Do I want to curate this? I mean, this is looking pretty good all, already. So, I'm actually just going to take a coin. I'm going to do the single one right here. Okay. So, I'll take a coin, please. Yep, no problem. Yeah. There you go. Okay, now it's your turn. All right, so I'm going to go here as well, but I'm going to take a TP. Yeah, makes sense. And you need I'm gonna, it. I really need this blue TP, so I'm taking it and it gets me a one buck because it's a favorable trade for me. You know, I'm gonna take an auxiliary action, but I'm only gonna do it once and it's gonna be the same one that I've been abusing. Okay. So I'm gonna go one step back, going into this, this uh, train station here in order to discard a card out of the game. So I'm discarding this jersey out of the game. And now that I'm here, I can decide if I'd like to upgrade the station, which this will, if I take this, if I upgrade and I take this spot as station master, then I also get to remove a hazard from the board. Or I do need mm -hmm. another hazard. That's why I thought you were doing it. Okay, I'll do it. So I'm gonna upgrade this station. So it's gonna be $4, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then I can place a white disc on there. Uh, so basically any of my auxiliary discs or this bottom certificate here. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. I've been kind of regretting not doing that one. So 
This is the one that allows me to draw a card to discard one. So I'm going to place this here. So now that's going to score me two points at the end of the game. And now I can choose to become Station Master, but it is discarding one of my valuable, ah, ever so valuable engineers. But I think I'm going to do it because it saves me some time. I'm going to take this, and this is going to immediately let me remove either a hazard or a TP from the board. I do need a second hazard, and it would be nice to make this way just free. <laughs> so I'm taking this. So now I have two hazards there. This objective is going to score. And at the end of the game, for every two objectives that I have, I get three points. So that is what that's doing for me. Um, and that's it. Done? Yes. Yeah, so now I drop. Okay. So I was thinking about stopping here, but I think I'm going to just bypass it all together. I'm going to go one, two, three. I unfortunately have to pay Monique two bucks. Oh, thank because you. Because she's so clever. <laughs> and I am going to go ahead and get rid of my Guernsey for two bucks back, please. Can I have two bucks? Okay. Sorry. There you go. Okay, now it's time to hire some people. So I don't have enough money to hire two people because it's quite expensive, but I think I'm going to hire... I'm going to hire a cowboy. Okay. I'm going to hire this cowboy right here. For six, six bucks? Six bucks, yeah. Nice. Five, six. There we go. And there I go. don't have enough money to hire a second one, so... Uh, that's my turn, but I do draw up to my hand limit of six. Okay. okay that's me. Um, I think I'm going to stop here. Building a building? Uh, yeah, I am going to build it. I don't have two dollar. I mean, I don't have a two, green two yep. to discard, but I am going to build a building. Now that this pathway is clear, this is a good opportunity for, to use some of these uh, risky, risky, risky behaviors. building spots. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I still only have one craftsman, so it has to be one of either one of these two. And so this one will allow me to discard a one to move my train forward. It's not that great. Or a two for three bucks. I think I'm going to do this one because this will still let me push forward a spot. So it doesn't really waste any time. So I'm going to build this. It's going to cost me two bucks because it's two dollars per uh, craftsman and I only have one. It only requires one. So if I put it here, in addition, I can discard one card, any one card to get a temporary uh, certificate. Or I can discard a one to get a temporary certificate plus two bucks. What? That's so much better. <laughs> so I'm going to go there. Okay, so I'm going to go right over here. And I'm going to discard two jerseys ah, for three bucks. You and your jerseys. They got to go. All right, can I have three bucks, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> three, there you go. All right, and then the next action is, oh, dollar overboard. That's okay, I'll give you another one. Okay. We'll let that one, uh, we'll let Dexter find that. We'll dollar. let it literally slide. So then, <laughs> Uh, so then this gets me a one step on my meeple. So I'm going to go here and we are going to get rid of a black Angus for two bucks. Can I have two more bucks? Okay. And now I can buy some cows now that the cow market is refreshed. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but I have three cowboys. I could buy this four for six bucks. You could. Yep. Yep. Because I already have these two colors here. Mm -hmm. So I think I will. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, so six. One? Yes. The West Highland. Wow, look at that one. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah. Looks like it would probably get hot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, and you, yes, you gave me the four value. That was very nice of you not to give me the three value. I figured I that's the one that you that. would have wanted. It, it is the one I wanted. And uh, now I just draw back up to my hand size, which is six. So one, Which two, is six. Three. I'd rub it in. Solid. Okay, so I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, because I have four uh, movement now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to discard uh, the Black Angus as well for two coins. And then I'm going to purchase a, a cow. And I only have one cowboy. I've not been doing very well in the cowboy, uh, cowboy game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I can only purchase a three for $6 or a four for 12 12 a three for six dollars sounds probably more reasonable. So let's do it. Six dollars for this yellow three. Because you already have the blue. Because I already have the blue. That's right. That's going to go in my discard. Mm -hmm. And that's that. I already draw up to five. Back to you. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go one spot here. I'm going to get rid of two identical Guernseys for four bucks. Okay. Which is going to make my four plus three is seven. So I'm going to clear off a hazard because I'd like to get that thing taken care of. So I have no money. Okay. Uh, so then I will clear off this hazard here because I don't like <laughs> that being a thing. Okay. So I'll put that hazard there. So this is satisfied because I have two buildings on the board plus one hazard here. Mm -hmm. So that will score me three points at the end of the game. Okay. And I should probably draw up to my six. Gosh. 
what do I want to do here? I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna go one, two. Yeah, your newly acquired building. Yeah, my newly acquired building. Let's let's, so let's make things work. Two like so, type. Two like type for three bucks. Oh, and I can do the one the one card for a temporary mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get some money here. So here's a two like type. I got my two white twos okay. for three dollars. One, two, three. And then I'm going to discard um, a one. The jersey. So the, she's doing this printed the jersey. Part, the jersey. Sorry, jersey. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm doing the printed one, the risky one, to get a temporary certificate and two as bucks. well as two more bucks. So let's take a five and give back a three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do the right hand action, which lets me move forward one and take this action, which is going to let me take a secret objective or another certificate, and then move my train. So I think I'm going to take an objective this time. Okay. And I'm probably going to go with this one. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to go for the San Francisco one. I don't know if I'm going to get there just yet. I mean, yet. you have the engineers to do it. And you're about to move right now. You're literally going to get there. No, no, no. Uh, to oh. get to San Francisco, I need to pay, I need to have that much in my hand. I don't have a whole lot of good scoring cows. I thought you were curating your hand. Um, I am, but it's not <laughs> been curated that well yet. Ah. So I definitely have a building that's not currently meeting mm -hmm. any objectives. So I might as well take this because the other three things are easier to get. Sure. That goes into your into discard, discard. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to keep it, you know. Uh, does this refill automatically? It does. It's okay. silly. Yep. There we go. So now you have a look at you. That Three, looks like something four, I would want. And a five. Do you have a five? I do not. Okay. Well, <laughs> better work not. on it. I'm so working. now I can move my locomotive up to three spots since I lost an engineer. So one, two, three. Not quite in, in an inlet yet. And Done. that's me. And now I draw up to five. I have to shuffle this. Yeah, okay. So I'll go, I'll go one, two here where you are. Okay. Um, and man, I... Kind of like that one that came out. You do? Take kind it. Of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. So okay. I'm going to take the action of taking an objective, and I'll put that into my discard so I don't get the certificate. Uh, and then I do get to move my train just one spot. I don't have an engineer. So making those fees a little bit less, though. That's nice. Okay, your turn. All right. I'm moving forward one. I'm going to move my train, but I'm only moving at one spot because I would like to upgrade this station. Okay. So I'm paying $6.00 to do that and then now i can pay oh let's do this i'm paying the extra five dollars to now increase my hand size because this is a black bordered mm -hmm. spot so i can put that there so you paid it six cost bucks. me an additional five no, i paid 12. you paid the six 11. yeah plus i paid the yeah. six plus five for cool. this spot yep so now i have a hand size of six cards That's a lot i'm not going to upgrade this station because i want to keep my station masters or my sorry i'm going to keep i want to keep my engineers mm -hmm. and then i'm going to do the double but i think i'm going to do this one yeah, this time so draw. i'm going to draw two cards and then discard two cards let's discard these two and then i can draw one more now that my hand size is six yeah that's right all right and that is me so back to you okay back to me so i'm just gonna follow along right here okay just move up one space because i still only have one engineer and i get to do one of those doubles so i think i'm gonna do the thing where i'm searching so i'm gonna draw two just like monique did one two and discard down two so i'll discard the ones that are not like okay so these two are gonna go out so these should all be nice and unique okay so your turn my turn yeah okay so i'm gonna go to kansas city but before i do i have my objective card in my hand nice. so i'm gonna play it and do the immediate benefit which lets me move up three spaces on the train track so one two three now mm -hmm. i'm here at 19. and then uh now i must I must go so here we go first step is put out a hazard tp or hazard so you need another blue tp i do yeah let's let's put out a tp leave the hazard to me <laughs> what <laughs> there's a tp <laughs> and then i am going to put out oh gosh so you're determining how much that person's gonna be yeah yeah oh now let's put out an engineer okay next spot is 10 to 10, 10 bucks. bucks is the next spot yeah and then you could put out a tp or a cowboy Let's delay the game a little bit. Okay. Put out a TP. Nice. I like it. And then uh, now I will Time reveal my hand. Sell. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for my permanent mm -hmm. one. And then I do have a couple. I have two temporary certificates. But where do I want to go is the question. Well, I could go to Santa Fe. The max you can do is 13. So yeah, you would have to go to Santa Fe. Oh, this side refills. So that will make your decision a little bit better. 
Look at that. You put out a green teepee. You I didn't did. even know it. I know. It's actually not uh, bad. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good card. I think I will go to Santa Fe. Yeah. Because you cannot, because you'll have a max 13, right? And San Diego costs 14. Yes. So, so I can't you even must get go. there. So you I still always get, have Kansas City. I still get the money for... You get the Cal, the Cal value. The Cal value. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I get $11. 11, 5, 10, 11. And then now I have uh, to... Yes, 11. Did you count the, the certificate as your 11? Is that what it was? I have a permanent certificate. That's how that. That's yeah, how we count it. Yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Yeah, okay. yeah. So then these get discarded. And now I choose what city to go to. And I'm going to go to Santa Fe. Yeah. So going there uh, is not going to cost me any fees. I just get to put out one of my discs. The white so... one. Huh? White one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it is going to bracket here with Albuquerque and Santa Fe. So Monique is going to be able to eventually uh, grab one of these. Or she could top deck if she's not happy with any of those four. Right. Um, let's do, ooh, do I want to pay a coin to move my train forward? That's a nice option. It's a good option, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, money's flowing now. Yeah, money's flowing a little Santa bit. Santa Fe. So I place it there, and then now I can take an objective. I can take one of these four. So I think I'm going to take this one, actually. Yeah, I mean, you just put out the green right here. Yeah. That's going to be two value. There are two greens showing. Two greens showing. This is, I still am working on my other two hazards for that card, so that would have been a little bit too expensive. Okay. And then I come back. Can you please pass me my meeple? Yeah. Coming back home and drawing up to five. Home on so the one, range. two. Yeah. All right. And it's back to you. Well, I have to go now. So I'm going to do this. And I'm definitely putting this hazard <laughs> all up there. I knew it. Yes. I can't let you just have that. I knew cheap. it, Naveen. I knew um, it. We're going to go here. And who's going to be expensive? Wow. We're going to make cowboys expensive. Why not? <laughs> and then we're going to make cowboys really expensive. So this is going to go here, though. And now we cross the yellow barrier here. Okay. So we get more cows. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So only two more cows come out. We have another West Highland. This is a lesser value than the other one. And one more. Oh, there's that other three. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah. Unique cows. All right. So now I'm going to sell. And we have a very nice looking stock today. So we have three, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna spend a certificate to make it 14. Nice. And that's gonna allow me to put it in San Diego here, bracketing these two, getting me eight points at the end of the game. I like this whole curating thing that Monique has been doing lately. So I'm gonna do that and put that right over there. <laughs> okay. Okay, that fits Very good. there. Uh, fees, I pay a buck. I should probably get my money. That's probably smart. Sorry, yeah. So, so three, six, bucks. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. You spent one. I did. Okay, so Four, here's... just give me thirteen because I have to pay one dollar fee. Okay, twelve. Ooh, almost dropped it. Thirteen, and you went to San Diego. You are climbing up the ranks there in the city. We going? Yeah, we All are. Right. We're moving. All right, and that is me, I believe. And now we got to refill these guys. TP. Hey, look at another green TP money. Oh, I just realized I have a hand limit of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Okay. So I now to me. Too big of a hand, yeah. I'm going to go to this spot because that's the only spot really right now that allows you to remove a TP from the board. And to curate and your hand. I really need that blue TP. So let's do this. It's going to get me a coin. Um, and then I can do the auxiliary actions. I'm a little bit scared of ditching cards now that my hand is so small. <laughs> yeah. So I think small. I'm gonna do, Ooh. I think I'm gonna do this one, this double auxiliary action. So I can draw two cards and then I discard two. I'm gonna discard these two, my two jerseys. Goodbye jerseys. That's me, so back to you. Back to me, okay. So I'm gonna be a little bit cheap here. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Green side, two of these green <laughs> ones. I, I should have had that one. Yeah, you should so have. Two bucks bucks for you and then now i can do this whole move my train back to discard a card yeah you should i should huh mm -hmm. yeah i'll do it i'll move back one to discard a card so i'm gonna move this one back and i'm okay. gonna get rid of jersey jersey you have served me very well <laughs> but you're gonna go bye 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 out of the game for me and uh, that's it and now i get to i'm gonna play this card one of my objectives. Okay. This one requires a three level card, a four level card, and a five level card. So this is active now. So if I fail this, I lose two points. But if I'm successful, I gain five. Because I played this card, 
um, I get to move up three spot up to three spots up to three spots without paying any fees that you see. Mm -hmm. But you don't get to take the action wherever you land on. Is that right? Yeah. I don't get to take the action. You say you, you do not. Not for those cards. Not for those cards. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we're gonna go one, two. We'll just hang out here. Okay. And I will not take an auxiliary action. Yes. At another person's building, so I don't pay money. Yeah, <laughs> you sound so proud. I'm very happy. That. That. Yeah. All right, so I am going to go one, two, three. Okay. I am going to discard. Who are you hiring? A Guernsey, for the two bucks, and then I'm going to hire. The first one I'm going to hire is this engineer. Nice. For six six dollars. You are in the engineering hiring game. Yeah, and uh, hiring this person is going to allow me to hire a second person for a discount of two dollars, which I can finally use now. Mm. And I'm going to hire a cowboy. So the cheapest, the most affordable cowboy is this one here. So it costs uh, seven dollars. I'm going to pay five for that cowboy, and that's it. So now I draw. So you could technically hire hand. a third one then, right? I could technically hire a third because one because she technically did this. This she didn't do this. She got the second hire because of the the token that she right. paid. So technically, she had enough money. I she have could do this. the ability to. I don't have enough money to. Correct. And so I'm not going to. Going to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it is your turn. Huh, hiring somebody would kind of be nice, but I'm looking at this juicy cow right over here. <laughs> this this is if you're if you're wondering, this is the juicy cow. It's a seven all, point Texas Longhorn. It's, it's I think it's the best cow I believe in the game. It's pretty glorious. I mean, look at that. It's a look seven at that pointer. Beauty. Because remember, at the end of the game, for every five dollars you get one point. Yes. So that would cost me twelve dollars for seven points. That's a pretty good exchange. Pretty good. And I it's mean, something I can then use. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass. We're going to go one, two. I'm going to stop here. Okay. I'm going to discard two greens to get three bucks. Okay. Here's five if you can give me two. Yes. Thank you. And then because of um, because of this next action here, I get to move over. Uh, there's a black Angus oh. going out. Sorry, it's all so two, two bucks. Back. Yeah, it's all for accounting here. And then now you can okay. uh, purchase a and cow. Now we will purchase Mr. Texas Longhorn. <laughs> Five, 10, 11, 12. Because I have, I have three cowboys, so I'm gonna do this one right over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna. So you have one more cowboy. I could. Yeah. To so use. let me let me figure out what I want to do. So that's gonna be out. So he has three cowboys total. He's spending two cowboys on purchasing the five for $12, which is what yeah. he just did. And now he has one cowboy left. He can either choose to purchase another four. So I can four. purchase this, this one right here, which is the one I don't have. You can for $6. Yes, that's true. Yes, you can. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll spend six bucks. Let's do it. Here you go. And I'll take that red cow. Okay. So we got a nice selection here. And that's the end of my turn. Uh, so now I get to draw back up to six. I'm jealous. You took the cow that I wanted. Did you want the big one? I did. The big daddy? Yep. Because you bought that cow. No, no, no. I wanted that red thread. Ah, the red one. Yeah, yeah. What a shame. Oh, My I cow know. offerings are very slim. Fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go this way. One, two, three. I'm discarding two of my black... Black Angus. Angai. Angai, To yes. get four bucks. So here's five. Discarding one. And then I'm going to remove a hazard from the board for seven dollars. So five, six, seven. And I'm removing this one, of course. Yes, four. It's gonna go into my hazard collection. I do need to to get those. So, and then now nice. I get to draw up. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw one and reshuffle this. It's back to you. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be boring and just Five. come on over here, and I'm gonna get rid of two jerseys for four bucks. Okay. And I I don't have enough money, so I'm just gonna take a five and give back a one. And I don't have enough money to um, clear off a hazard, so that's me. All right, before I move, I'm going to play my uh, my objective card here because uh -oh. it's going to give me the ability to draw up three cards and discard. So I can basically draw really these three. Thing, yeah, yeah, one, two, three. And then I can discard. I think I discard three. Okay, I will discard these three. These three. And then where am I going to go? Now I'm going to move. Okay. I'm gonna go one, two, and that way. Which? How'd you go? You avoided my toll. I'm assuming. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go one, two. Uh, Kindness. And that way, 
I can either get an objective. Do I want to get another objective? Am I going to be far reaching now? No, you're working pretty hard there, Monique. I don't know. I'm working hard. I am working hard. I still need to get another hazard. I'm going to take a certificate and I'm going to push my train forward four spaces. Okay. So one, two, three, I four. I can't stop that. We're going. We're going. You're going. And that's the end of my turn. I'm going to draw this last card. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to join you here. One, two. Uh, I'll take a certificate. And then I'm going to move my train itty bitty one. One. <laughs> okay, you done? Yeah, that's it. All right. We're going. We're going home to Kansas City. See ya. So let's put out a green TP. Sure. Let's put out ooh it'll be oh we were supposed to refill oh you did we that. did yep. oh okay it's going to be let's put out a cowboy. cowboy um and then an engineer there are a lot of craftsmen out there there's we a lot are of craftsmen. nearing the end of the game we're here. getting close yeah and so i'm going to reveal my hand i have three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen my uh permanent one is fourteen, 14. so you can get into san so diego i can get to san diego which i Probably should Probably just should. do. Yeah, it's eight eight points at the end of the game. Yeah, and it costs a white. I'm gonna I'm gonna unveil this one. Nice. So I can have an extra certificate spot. Sure. And actually, I should get my money first. You should always you get your always money do first, this out yeah. of order. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Because you pay no fees. Yeah. Yep. And now I'm gonna decide on the city, which is San Diego. Play that there. I don't pay any fees, and I come home. And then everything gets discarded and I draw up, but because I have to draw up, I need to. Oh my gosh, my so many craftsmen out there. So. Yeah, there's a green TP for you. <laughs> for me? Ah, yeah, for you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and slip on in here. I get to move, so I'm just gonna go one spot over. And then I can do a double auxiliary now. Do I want to draw up to. Yeah, okay, I'll do this one right here where I draw up to. One. Two. Oh, are you serious? Oh. That doesn't sound good. It's not good. No, it's not good. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Totally not what I wanted to happen. I'm at 23, right? Yeah, okay. Dang it. Okay, those two will go there. Well, that's me. Um, oh, you're done? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Dang it. That was not good. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Where's Pull in. four value cow? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. There's a, a lot of uh, upsetness oh, going on over that here. That was pretty upsetting. That was, yeah, that was pretty upsetting. <laughs> All right, I'm going here, uh, and I'm going to take a TP off the board. I'm going to take this one, and it's going to give me a coin. That was a favorable trade. And then now I'm going to do a auxiliary action of choice. You know what? I am going to do this one last time. Oh my gosh, my wow. hand size is going what to is be... your hand size? Probably How really... How do you even have cows? Yeah. Uh... I'm gonna do it. I don't know what it is, so. I'm gonna do it. Let me know. This yep. is gonna be, this might be ridiculous. This one for I'm the gonna ages? do it. Yeah, okay. I'm doing this double auxiliary action spot. Okay. I'm gonna push my train back two spaces. Can we go one, two into that uh, spot right there? And in doing so, I get to ditch two cards. Two cards out of the game. Out of the game. I'm ditching these two out. Nice. No jersey. I'm just like. I mean, you're I picking know. up points along the way, though. That's um, nice. So what's going to... And I'm going to upgrade that. Do you have to pay 8 bucks. I have to pay $8, yeah. 5, 6, 7, 8. 7, 8. And I'm going wow. to play this spot, this this tile here. So now I can move up to 5 spaces. And it's going to be 3 points at the end of the game. So that was 8 points for 8 bucks, which is not bad. So you're just going to jet set now, is what you're saying. I'm going to try. Yeah. And that's it. That's my turn. Well, then that means I need to rush the game. Might have to wrap it. So let's go here. I'll put out. So the water hazards are full, but I do have the right to do this where it's like, whoop, out of the game. Because I would rather not have to put towards that. Uh, this one's going to go here. It's going to slip on in. And then I think I will put out another craftsman here because I don't like what you're doing with that speed. Okay. Just to make the score look a little more respectable in my favor by right. <laughs> doing that. So that's that. Uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna deliver. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I unfortunately did not pull my four card. That would have that would have been nice. So ten. Uh, I'm gonna just take ten bucks as okay. it is and then deliver to Santa Fe over here nice. uh, with this white. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one, deliver to Santa Fe. So do I, I get ten bucks, please. Okay. Take two fives. I have no fees because it's all behind me. Nice, very good. Um, and then because I bracketed Albuquerque and Santa Fe, I can take one of these. Do I like any of those? What is that, San Francisco? So that's just have just have 
a single one in San Francisco, right? Is that what that means? Yes, that is what that means. <sighs> okay, I'll take it. Yeah? It doesn't mean I have to play it, so Correct. I'll just take it. And then that's going to go there. This will flip up. Oh, look, it's the same thing. <laughs> Another San Francisco? It didn't matter. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking about top picking it. <laughs> okay, not so, bad. So uh, that's me. So then we go here, we go here. I'm going to refill all this stuff. Blue TP. Cowboy. And, and cowboy. All right. So now it goes back to me. Uh huh. And I do I want to buy a cow? That is my question right now. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. Okay, where you going? But uh, we're gonna try. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Wow. And so I Just can discard Jet Setter Monique. My Black Angus for two bucks. So there's two bucks now. Cow purchase. So Eleven dollars here. And now I can purchase a cow. I have two cowboys. So with my five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, oh, so you're just short of buying this cow. Oh. And this cow. And that cow. Beautiful. I can only buy this three. You can. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I was a dollar short. How'd that happen? <laughs> That's why this auxiliary action is just so interesting because it's just like. <laughs> How did that happen? One dollar short. All right, I'm just gonna not buy a cow. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy a cow. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna drop my last card here. All right, that's me. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go here. Gosh, what's your what's your movement points? One, two, three, four, five, six. You can deliver, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I can. But that would be the end of it, probably, right? It could be. Well, we'll see. I don't know, I don't know what you're doing. Are you panicking? I'm panicking a little. I'm so far, and I don't have speed. That's my problem. So I would probably spend two bucks. Okay. Can I have three bucks back to move my locomotive? There you go. So I'll move my locomotive two spaces. One, two. And then I can take the double auxiliary, which would be possibly this one to get a little bit better situation here for me. I mean, it's so close to the end. I might as well just draw two and make my best decision. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm not gonna go back on the train. Okay. So I'll do one, two. Give me one second. I have to the figure stress out. is high. <laughs> the stress is like here right now. Ugh. Okay, we'll just get rid of two jerseys. Bye bye. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go here first. Nice. Okay, because cool. I'm not gonna discard any cards. I'm going to pull a hazard off for seven bucks because I, need, I needed another hazard for this objective here, which you probably can't even see. Can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see it. I needed a second objective right <laughs> yeah, there. It's getting tight. So let's. Now I have to pay the seven. So five, six, seven, and then I'm going to take this one. Sure, three pointer. Three pointer, and now that has been fulfilled. Fulfilled. So that's my turn. Back to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three over here. I'm gonna have to pay the bank two bucks. <laughs> not you. You didn't pay me. Mm -mm. How could you? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a Guernsey for two bucks back. Can I have two bucks, please? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hire... I should probably hire a... Who's the cheapest cowboy? This guy right here. Because then that'll allow me to take a hazard. And hazards... The best case hazards is $3. So I'll take this cowboy for six bucks. Put it right over here. So I'm, let me pay the six for that first cowboy. Okay. That's going to put it right there. That allows me to take a hazard. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this hazard, clearing off my pathway that way. It's a little late for that, but I'll do it. <laughs> um, and then I could hire somebody else. How much money do I have? I have $8. If I didn't have to pay that fee, <laughs> that would If you been... hire an engine, oh, well, yeah, if you hire an engineer, you can discard a one from your hand if you have it. I unfortunately it. discarded these two jerseys when I did this action over here. Mm. So... Let's just say I don't have any more jerseys <laughs> okay. in my hand. So, Secrets. Uh, well then, yeah, well maybe then. you just call that. <laughs> well then, wrap it up. Okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and do exactly that. I'll wrap it up and draw one card to get me back up. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Kansas City. We're gonna go one. Oh no, we're not going that way. We're going one, two, three, four, mm. and um, I mean, yeah, let's put out this hazard. <laughs> Right there. Nice. <laughs> uh, I wish it was out there when I took it. Let's, at this point, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. So let's put out this. No, let's put out a craftsman. Sure. And then we're going to put out 
a TP because I do still need to get my second TP. Okay. For uh, my my objective here, so we don't want to put out a, another person just yet. Okay. And I'm going to review my hand. I have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I want to get to Sacramento, so I have fourteen with my permanent certificate. Oops, going to flying across the table. And so I'm going to spend two of my certificates to make it into sixteen. Too bad I don't have eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I have one short. Yeah. Why don't I have eighteen? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. Okay. All right. Sorry. That was my fit. Yeah. And so let me get my money. <laughs> oh, it was. 15, 16. And these get discarded. And now I will choose to deliver to Sacramento. And I can take out any of these, really. I mean, I just take this one. You're not bothered? I'm not bothered. So. Okay. So that'll get you four points at the end of the game. Yep. That'll get you four points at the end of the game. And then I return back. Home. Yes. Yeah, so we yeah. are really nearing. This is pretty much yeah. We're the end of we're the wrapping here. up. Okay. Got lots of cowboys out there now. All the cowboys. All the cowboys there. But now it goes to you. Mac to me. Okay. So do I buy a cow? I'll go one two here. Okay. I will. I'm gonna keep the black Angus in my hand, and I'm just gonna buy. So I have four cowboys now. Okay. So I'm gonna buy this cow right here, another Texas Longhorn, mm -hmm. for six bucks. There you go. This Texas Longhorn comes to me, and then that is my turn, and now I'll drop back up. Unique. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go here. Easy turn, and I'm gonna take the last uh, green TP yeah, that I needed for my object objective, and I get a coin. Will you be curating your hand? Um, no. <laughs> you can also, uh, for your auxiliary, just take a coin. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna take a coin, because I've been one coin short. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. A couple of times this, this game, yeah. so that's me. Now it's on to you. So I, only have, I still only have three movement points, huh? Yep. So you can't make it to Kansas City just yet. Not yet. But I have a feeling you're going to be the one ending the game. Yeah. Which means I'm going to have one additional turn. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I think... So I'm going to take this action first. Okay. You can, you can do that out of order. So I'm going to go up... Well, if I go into here, I can then do the Station Master thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. You can you can upgrade the station and claim the station master. Oh well, no. So you ha do I have to pay this in order to upgrade the station master? Yes. Or I, okay. You upgrade the station. Yeah, I only have two bucks. And if you're the first one, if you're, <laughs> I only have two bucks. Oh, okay. So then you can't do we're it. We're just gonna skip on back there, uh, and then I can take an objective card. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna top deck it and just oh. hope for the best. Okay. So it is. Oh no, I'm not in any of this game. This is putting those station <laughs> things there. Right. Oh, give it to me. Well, it's not going to score because it's not in my great display. Well, that's that. Your turn. Oh, my turn. Okay. <laughs> I should have taken a certificate. Um, I think maybe... Okay. I'm going to go um, one, two, three. I'm not going to discard... Well, I guess I'm not going to make it to Kansas City anyway. So I might as well do it. I'm going to discard the Guernsey for two coins. Oops. So two coins, and then I'm going to hire two people. So the first person I'm going to hire is this engineer here. Okay, nice. For six, because it's going to be four points now. Yeah, that's all. So solid. six coins, and the second person I'm going to hire is, is another engineer, but it's going to cost 10 now. This person's going to cost 10 because it's plus two. So here's my 10, and I'm going to place this engineer here, and the immediate benefit, I forfeited the original benefit, by the way, okay, yep. so that I can take this benefit, Ooh, which nice. lets me discard a one for four coins. Yeah, that's nice. So I only had one one, so I figured I'd save it. Now I'm full up on engineers. That's eight points worth of just people. And that's it. That's my turn. So I draw back up to six. I get to shuffle my two card deck here. Mm -hmm. Someone stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. All right, my turn, huh? So go to Kansas City. Well, let's see. What do you have? If you don't go to Kansas One, City, two, three, four, five. You can go to Kansas City. Huh? Exactly. So. Ugh. All right. Fine. <laughs> Taking your sweet time on the Great Western Trail. I am. Yeah. So we're gonna go one, two. I'll put out this hand. I'll put out the cowboy. So this is gonna end the game, which gives me this two points. That's true. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. And then um, I'll put out, oh, it doesn't matter. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nice. Are and you going to get to San Francisco? 17, 18 ah. to get me to San Francisco. 
And I'll take this one off right here. It's going to give me three points at the end of the game for having this movement. Point. I think you have to go in this order. I don't think so. No? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So yeah. you, doesn't, you don't have to do it in that order. That's yeah, fine. Because I'd like to have three points. That's a 12 point uh, a 12 delivery point for delivery, you. Yeah. So because coming here with a sandwich and only give me four points, but this is going to be that. Oh. Plus I have that San yeah. Francisco card. I was going to say San Francisco was definitely the right thing to do. It's the right one. So I'll just remove one of these guys out <laughs> because... <laughs> you're still on that? <laughs> hey, got to go. All right, and then okay. I should probably get all the money. Uh, that was uh, 18? $18, yeah. We, is, you got so excited that we were just like not doing anything Which is in nice order. because the exchange at the very end of the game is for every five, and that'll give me exactly 20. Okay, there you go. Thank you. 18. So this is your last turn. Okay, I have one last turn because Naveen knocked off that token. So everybody else gets one final turn. Mm -hmm. So we got to make it count. Uh, huh. What can we do? Can I even meet any of these objectives? I didn't perch I didn't get a four. You can top deck. Cow. I don't yeah, want to. There's no penalty for top decking. Buy a quality yeah, cow for points. Um, no, I'm actually just going to go and and try to get here. Because I oh, have okay. one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> so we're going to go one, two, three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an objective. I'm going to top deck it. Ha ha. Three, four, five. No yeah, chance. definitely not. Yep. But at least I have it. <laughs> oh, oops, it's going to my discard. Sure. At least I have it for for that end game scoring thing. And then I'm going to move my locomotive up one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, five. I was like, can I even make it here? But obviously not. <laughs> no, that's all right. So <laughs> I pay $7, five, six, seven, and I'm going to upgrade that station. None of these, it doesn't matter now. So I'm just going to put this here. Let's just put the this one there. Yeah, just make it look fun. good. Make it look yeah. good. That. And you that's it. Blue out there. That's my whole game. Yes, and I have five dollars left. Okay. You basically yeah. counteracted your Kansas City penalty with that one. That's good. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that penalty. Thanks for reminding me. That's it. Well. So that is game. <laughs> that is the entire game. We're yeah. gonna go into final scoring. Let's do it. Let's use a score sheet. The official score sheet. <laughs> There's like twelve different scoring parameters or something something wild. Okay, first things first is money. Straight five up. five bucks, one point. So I have twenty dollars, so it's gonna be uh, four points. Four points. I have five dollars, exactly five. So one point for me, four for you. Already winning, Naveen. <laughs> Next thing I is, uh, I think they're points for buildings. Yeah, I think I get. Uh, so go ahead, you first. So you have this one building, <laughs> that building. So you have two points. Two points. And same they're... with me, one and yeah. one. Yeah. Two. So two and two. Two okay. and two. Okay. Like the spread so far. <laughs> All right. Now we get points for our uh, for the cities. Ooh. Okay. That we delivered to. Okay, so that's 6, 10, 18, plus 6 is 24. Minus 6. Minus 6. 18? So 18. So I have 9 for San Francisco. Yep, 9 for San Francisco. You have 8, eight, eight and six. 17, plus 6 is 23. 23, yeah. Okay, you are doing, you're doing well. So far. Uh, nice. We score for these now. Yeah, I have none. So <laughs> I have 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, plus five is 11, plus six is 17. Yeah, 17 to nothing. 17. Right. Uh, and then now Ooh. we score our hazards. Okay. So I have one, two, three, I have four of them. So one, two, three of them are worth three points each. So it's nine plus four is 13. 13, very nice. How about you? Uh, I have six points worth. Six points? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we score our cow cards. Cow cards, okay, here so we look go. Look for all of the cow cards. In your deck. Oh boy. And anything that has points. So mine is easy. I only only purchased two cows the entire game, so four points. Okay, I have several cows here, so let's see if I can. I think this is where Naveen is making his millions. Some ground here. Okay, so I have all these purchased cows. So we have two, make that nine, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. 22, 22 to four. Wow. Uh, our objectives, objective cards. Okay. So I have one that I didn't meet, but it was in my deck. So it's not going to dock me any points. Um, this one required, here, let me just show you. Sure. This required a TP and two hazards. That's what these three things are. So that's three points. This one required a building, a building, a blue TP and two hazards. So I have one building over there and I have all of the other things. So it's five points. And then my third one required just any, um, I need disc upgrade, I guess. You definitely have that. To go out and two green TPs, which are here. So three points. So I have a total of 11 points in objectives. Nice. You? 
Okay, so these two were in my hands, so I did not satisfy this one. So okay. it's not a penalty, so it's just going to be out. Okay, so let's look at this one. So I'm in San Francisco. Yep. That's five. Uh huh. So five points there. This one required a hazard and two houses mm -hmm. or buildings. I have that, so that's another three. So that's eight. Okay. And then this one right here required one of each type of cow, three, four, five. I have a three, four, five, so another five. Okay. So that's going to be 13. 13. 13. Wow. Yeah. Next thing is station master tiles, and I have two of them, mm -hmm. which were these two. And so this is going to give me three points for every two hazards that I have. I have four hazards, so that's six, six points. points. I know my area is such a mess. A mess is a good thing in this game. So six points for this, and then this is um, three points for every two objectives that I have, completed or not. <sighs> so I have four objectives, so that's another six points. That's 12 total. To my you, zero. You I have none of those, those. yeah. Okay. Uh, people. Any of the people in our two last columns? I needed another turn to get to get to this guy right here. I wanted to jetpack so I could buy another cowboy or two with all no. my money. No. <laughs> so zero. <laughs> so I have two of them, so it's eight points. And then we have, uh, if you have uncovered the three-point space, yep. then you get points for that. And whoever gets the two-point marker, which is you. That. Yep. All right. And then now we do some math. math. Okay. So one second. Okay. So final scores are in. And it was actually not not too far spread. Not yeah. There was a couple zeros though for me that I'm like. Mm, yeah. I had a zero. Okay, so <laughs> okay. it was. Um, you had a zero on the not having this two token at the end of the game. Well. <laughs> no, okay. What I meant is, you there was one where you scored twenty two points and I scored four. So there mm. was some there was some spreads. Some stuff, yeah. So uh, the final scores were uh, Monique with eighty nine and Naveen with seventy five. So Lowest that, score wins. So, good. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That is Great Western Trail. I must admit that I we played this game a few times and gosh, this game just like never clicked with me. And then we played with, with a friend of ours who was really good at this game and I kind of saw what he was doing. <laughs> and and like, I was I'm going like, to do that. I'm going to try that strategy. <laughs> so nice. this is not like an original strategy that I did, but I guess it won the game. So Nice. Well done. You did it. Thank you. Okay, so we just finished our two-player playthrough of Great Western Trail. This is one that uh, we had been wanting to play for a while on the stream, so uh, yeah. here it is. I we feel like it. the the reason why we chose Alexander Fister to begin with was because of this game. I think so. Yeah. There were so many people. I mean, this game has like a cult following. It There's does, so yeah. many people who love this game so much, uh, and they know all the ins and outs of the strategies because this this is a game with a lot of depth. And this game does have an expansion. We have tried it. And uh, the expansion has to do a lot with the cities. It kind yeah. of expands the way that the upper side of the board works. Yeah, it's called like the Northern Rails, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes that whole engineer and all that stuff that's going on with the little trains. Yeah, I don't remember so, much of it. Yeah, I don't but remember But just know much. that it exists. It exists. So what do you think of it? Yeah, this is a, this is a good one. I like this one a lot. Um, it's interesting because I've... The more and more I play it, the more I, I keep telling myself I need to be more efficient with my cards in my hands. And I know I need to get to Kansas City and sell more, but I find myself stopping along the way a little bit too frequently mm -hmm. and not just pushing ahead and selling those cattle. Um, but I feel like every time I play, I, I get a little bit better. And so I like when games do that, when when you see strategies uh, kind, of kind of unfold. It kind of unfolds every yeah, time exactly. you play. Yep. Yeah. How about yourself? So this game, historically, for me, is a game that I have not enjoyed, right? I think in, in a previous video, specifically, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because <laughs> in a previous video, I specifically stated that. Mm -hmm. And so I, I feel like I probably should speak on it. Um, now that we've played it a lot more times than I had played it at that time, I do like the game a lot more. Mm -hmm. Every I feel like every time I play it, uh, I, I enjoy it a lot more. Um, there is still something that's holding me back from loving it. Still something, huh? But uh, we are going to talk about that a little bit more sure. in, in the rest of the review. Yeah. This is, what is this, our, our sixth game in the series? Sixth, yeah. Yeah, sixth. So the sixth game mm -hmm. in the series, and it, it's, uh, it's, we're getting into the heavier ones. You know, like we did Mombasa, and I felt like that was sort of like our inside peek at the heavier stuff that Alexander Pfister mm -hmm. started to design after a while. And this is like true his first, I, w I want to say his first true, like, heavy Euro, right? Yeah, I would say this is the one this that, This is heavier like, than Mombasa, in my opinion. the next step, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's impressive to see him go from all those other designs to this one, because, again, I don't see a whole lot of similarities 
It's very unique compared to all his other stuff. Yeah, yeah. compared to all his other stuff. Uh, after this, you'll see we're going to play like Maracaibo and you will see similarities between that game and this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of everything else that led up to this design, it's this is this An was a fresh... Another fresh, unique fresh, one. A fresh, unique, innovative design, especially at the time. Yeah. Right? So let's start with theme. Uh, what are your thoughts on the theme? Um, Western themes for me aren't typically my favorite, but what you're doing here... Uh, makes thematic sense. You know, you, you're you're basically taking your cattle and, and improving upon it, trying to get to Kansas City and mm -hmm. sell it. So, um, you know what? It, it is a pretty thematic game. Yes. Technically, you know, um, it could technically be anything else, but for what it's doing and for the name of the game and, and the mechanisms of the game, it is quite thematic. It is. Yeah. 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 You? Um, I think that part of the lack of enjoyment on my part is from the theme. Mm. I just don't like westerns. Like that, and that's not something. That's not at, at all the fault of the game or the design. It's totally. it's that's completely aesthetic. Pure your own subjective yes. opinion. Yes, pure subjective opinion. Yeah. So that is that is part of it. That's a big part of it. I think the game integrates the theme really, really well. Mm -hmm. I think that you know the whole Great Western Trail part of it is is really smart. In the way that you're going up to Kansas City, you're selling your your cattle, everything. everything the three workers. Every, everything, the way that the mechanics work and, and the way it's mm -hmm. integrated in the theme is really done well. Yeah. So um, what about uh, player count and replayability? We've played this at all player counts. Two, three, and four. Yep. Yes, two, mm -hmm. three, and four. I, I would I feel like it scales really well. It does, um, yeah. Because the, the timing of the game, it's all it's all really just dependent on how many of these um, how many of the employees come out. Yep. And how, how often we're kind of pushing the employees further, further down by, by going to Kansas City. By going City. to Kansas, yeah. Uh, there's definitely less player interaction. It's a lot harder to evade uh, other people's buildings when there's four people at the table because it's mm. the same size board and right. it's the same trail. Yeah, but so, in, a, in a higher player count, your, your initial speed is, is greater. So as more people build more buildings, sense. you can actually go further um, just baseline without having to take those those uh, tokens off. Mm -hmm. That's true. So there's I guess a... I, I was more uh, referring to paying people, like when you put out buildings and have yeah, to with pay. The hands, yeah. yeah. So other than that, um, it scales really well. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of replay replayability, wow, this game, the reason why uh, it's, I feel like part of the reason why people love it so much is because you can keep replaying this thing. Like you can just get this game and have this game as like your only heavy Euro and like really play it so, so many times and just learn really something wear it new out. every time mm -hmm. you play it. A lot of the strategy has to do with the way that the employees come out. The pricing of them. Yeah. The, the pricing of them and what uh, combination of types of employees are available. Uh, and which ones p players are taking, that's going to, I feel like that molds a lot of your strategy. That's like one of the main things mm -hmm. that molds your strategy, the employees. They are your, that is the engine building part of the game. You you get more and more employees that'll help you do better and better things. Mm -hmm. You can build your bigger buildings or you can purchase uh, higher scoring uh, cows, cows yeah. for a cheaper price or push your locomotive all the way at the front. It really just depends on what you find important and what the other players are taking away from the hiring area here, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And so that, the way that they come out is always gonna be different. The the private buildings that we use, there are eight of, or sorry, ten there of are them. 10 of them yeah, and double they're double-sided sided, and you randomize them. So that in itself, the way that you utilize them, because I have heard that Craftsman is truly the best strategy, yeah. even though I cannot get that to work ever. For people out there who do use a Craftsman as a strategy, you know very well how important these buildings are. So that adds a lot to the replayability of the game. And even just the starting placement of these building tiles, it, it doesn't sound like a lot because you can kind of randomize them on the board, but it actually has a big effect on the way that the game is played. Yep. Because if you have several of, you know, money-making spots close to uh, Kansas City or, you know, just depending on their orientation with each other, it does affect the way that you play the game. Mm -hmm. So a ton of replayability here. And like Naveen was mentioning, every time you play the game, the strategies unlock more and more yeah right? you see more of the efficiencies because it is it it's technically a deck builder so you see more of the efficiencies of like oh man i like i like having these two like jersey cards so that mm -hmm. i can go to that spot to discard them for some more cash but then you're realizing that you know what forget jersey like let's just get to kansas city and sell the big boys you know yeah yeah so um, yeah. yeah, there's all those like little, little more discoveries that I'm getting every single time I play this game. Yeah, and then going into the mechanics, I mean, there is so much to unpackage with this game. 
Um, one of the things that I like the most is the timing of how it's played. It's mm -hmm. very, there's not a whole lot of like sitting and waiting around for somebody's like really epic turn because a lot of these heavy euros are like, well, I'm going to have this awesome turn and mm -hmm. everybody's going to sit and watch me. <laughs> it's like this combo after combo. In this game, you move, you do the action of the building. So and the then second you action, your do the second action. Yeah. 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 And then uh, when you get to Kansas City, that's pretty much the only time that your, your turn can become a little bit longer. But it's only, it's five steps and it's actually not that long either. I mean, three of the three of the steps are put out a token. Yeah, you know? so, so it's not too bad. The timing and flow, and once everybody like really knows the game and everybody's just kind of going, it just goes. Mm -hmm. Like you move, take your action, draw up, next player, and it's pretty much like that the entire game. I will say though, in our particular play, we didn't put out too many buildings, so that's true. If there is a heavy building strategy, because your speed is dictated by how many buildings are in front of you. Um, it can slow down the game if everyone is building a lot on That's the board. Right. Yeah. So that, that is something. We played kind of like a safe game, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a lot more uh, interaction that can come into play here with people going the hazard route or like just getting more of these buildings out to make the, the trail longer. Mm -hmm. we, didn't do, we didn't do any buildings almost. <laughs> yeah, so. we, I did too, you did too. Yeah. But otherwise, the actual mechanics in this game are really interesting. It's mm -hmm. combining deck building with worker placement, essentially. Or um, action selection. Action maybe. selection. Yeah. I mean, you're technically placing a worker and doing the, the, the thing. Action, yeah. So it's technically worker placement. But really, it's a big rondelle. Mm -hmm. You know, the trail is just this rondelle that you keep going around, which is not necessarily new. But the thing that's interesting is this rondelle snakes. It it uh, it, it forks. forks the forking. You know, yeah. you play a rondelle game and it's the same circle that you kind of go around and then you you do mm -hmm. that until the game ends. Here you have choices along the way. You have options and you're constantly forced with a decision that's gonna affect you know impact the entire yeah, game. Yeah, I think it's cool that like I put that uh that place where the, with the hand that has mm -hmm. the fee and then you're like okay fine I'm gonna work my way towards chipping away at the hazards and go the other way. Right. And then establish your own section on the trail that was your own unique building mm -hmm. where you can get extra benefit from. So that's that's kind of what you're saying, like that things can fork and things can change. Yeah. It's not the same stale rondelle over and over. Right. And that's just on the, you know, it's just on the trail itself. The game, ha there's so much to this game. Like the... The actual actions on the building tiles, they're not complicated at all. They're very simple, actually. Mm -hmm. And they have, a lot of them have to do with discarding specific cards in your hand to help you with the deck building aspect of right. it. But it's also not a deck builder in the sense of other deck builders, because all you have in your deck are cows. cows yeah. And it's just a means to an end, right? Your cows are just going to dictate how much money you make and what city you can go to by the time you get to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. So you still want to build up that deck but it's a very different application. Right. Um, I think what I struggle with the most and what the true thing that, that takes away from the enjoyment of the game for me is I have such a hard time figuring out what to focus on. Like mm -hmm. the, the first mm -hmm. couple times that I play this game, I know it's called Great Western Trail. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to go up this trail and then you need to sell your cows in Kansas City. But that's not necessarily... I feel like that's almost like a distraction to focus on that part of it because there are 11 ways that you can earn points in this yeah, game. Yeah. And it's not just going to Kansas City. Kansas City is just going to get you the points on the on the, the cities. I would call it really 10 ways to score points. The 11th way is getting is being the one to trigger the end game. You can still get so points 10, that way. <laughs> 10, there's 10 ways to score points in this game. But the, I guess that, that's my point. That there, it's, it's, it's kind of a scattered game. Like, you need to figure out where to get these points. There are these all these different ways to do it, and you need to figure out how you're going to do that. And I really struggle with that part of it. Because there's no scoreboard. So it's just like, I think I'm doing okay here. I have a bunch of nice cows. and But then yeah. you're like, I'm dropping these these uh, tokens off along the way, and I think I'm scoring here. That's what it is. There's no scoreboard, so yeah. you don't know how people are doing. Yeah. And you can see where the points are. Like, you can see points literally on the cows. You can see them in these cities mm -hmm. and in the train stations on your objective cards. But the points are all like anywhere from one to like five points. Mm -hmm. So they never seem like a lot. Yeah. You know, you, you really need to get a lot of it. For me, it's like, okay, there's this trail. I'm going to stop on every building on the trail. Mm -hmm. But that's actually to your detriment. That's my, par that's my problem. Yeah. You, after a certain while, you need to get your butt to Kansas City. And you need to do it again and not just kind of take like the long, yeah, the long route. Yeah. And that's another part. Yeah. The player board. Yeah, the player like, board. Figuring out which disc to remove. Mm -hmm. How do you know which disc is going to serve you in that moment, right? Yeah, you were shy a dollar on one, so then that's like, well, oh, had you had gosh. that one extra dollar? I know. From that the thing. auxiliary actions are just so good. You want them all. So like, I don't know what order to remove those discs in, and it impacts a lot more than you think it would, mm -hmm. I guess. 
Um, like, do I want speed or do I want the extra card in my hand? One costs money and the other one gives you money, but it's nice to have more than four cards in hand. Yeah, because right? ultimately the, the more variable cows you have when you get to the Kansas City, the, the more, more money you make, the mm -hmm. more you turn and burn. Anyway, that is Great Western Trail. Um, in the end, what are your thoughts after yeah, a few plays a bit? I, I still like it a lot. Um, I like it more than you, I think, right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I, en I enjoy this game way, way more now than I did before we started playing it to, to make this video. Mm -hmm. It's still not my favorite Fister. Okay, that's fair. For sure. But I think that the game is really good. Like my, my enjoyment of it and what I think of the game on its own are very different things. And I think this is a fantastic design. Like mm -hmm. I totally understand why people love it so much. Yeah. But I would probably struggle emotionally if I had to play it with somebody who was who'd played this game like 20 times <laughs> who knew what they were doing yeah yeah because yeah. people who are good at Great Western Trail are really good at Great Western Trail so anyway that was Great Western Trail thank you so much for watching next up I believe is Blackout, Blackout Hong, Kong. Out Hong Kong yes and Blackout. then Maracaibo mm -hmm. which you will see some similarities you'll start to see more and more similarities as the uh the games progress Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.